Well, hello, everybody. It is a, uh, it's been one of those days where we as Americans have to, we've got to, especially African Americans, we've got to pull ourselves together in the name of Jesus. What we experience with the yet a, another death and another loss after, I, I, I hesitated and delayed watching the video uh, of the gentleman in Minnesota being murdered. I mean, essentially, he was murdered on camera. It was an intentional, uh, and what I want to say right now is that scene was posed, it was intentional, it was deliberate. Those officers knew they were being videotaped. They knew what they were doing. It was very clear that they wanted people to videotape this they wanted that to happen. I believe that it was very strategic and deliberate. I believe it was strategic and deliberate because there are efforts and there are forces at bay working to bring this nation by whatever means necessary into a police style state to create rioting in the streets. And we must guard against that. We must pray against it. We must decree against it. When the mayor of the city comes on camera and says, why aren't these men arrested? The delay in dealing with this is intentional and we have to come against this spirit, folks. This is intentional. It is, that, was, that man was not killed by accident. He was killed on purpose. That officer knew what he, he knew exactly what he was doing. He did it on purpose. Why would an officer deliberately do that, knowing you're being filmed, knowing you're being filmed, knowing that there are multiple cameras, multiple angles? It was intentional, which means that there are forces at bay. There are demonic forces at bay, using people, using systems, using governmental entities working strategically to bring this nation to a police state so that it can subvert and it can thwart and it can limit or hinder the ability of God to pour out his spirit upon this nation so that that according to the scriptures Matthew 24 can take place it was intentional it was on purpose it is designed to inflame us they allowed another African-American man to be murdered with intentionality because it is designed to get us angry. It is designed to evoke our emotions. It is designed to get us upset. It is designed to create riots. It is designed to create mayhem in the streets. And in the name of Jesus, as one voice in the kingdom of God, I say in Jesus' name, it will not win. We bind that spirit and in Jesus name we cut you off in the name of Jesus. We pray and decree justice. We pray and decree peace over the state of Minnesota. We decree the peace of God over major cities across this nation. We release major angelic forces and authority to stop this and to cut it off before it comes and releases across this nation like wildfire. In Jesus' name, we bind the spirit. We come against the spirit. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray for peace we pray for justice. We decree the words of Ezekiel 45 and 9. Thus says the Lord, remove violence and spoil and execute judgment and justice in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you, O oh God, you move God. We bring you into this circumstance. We invoke your presence. We invoke your power. We invoke your authority. We thank you, Father, for stepping in and intervening. And you, O oh God, remove violence and spoil and execute judgment and justice. God, we implore you to exact justice in this situation. In Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you that you are a righteous God. You are a just God. 
and you will exact justice. You will exact justice. You will execute judgment. You will deal with this situation. But we recognize that that scene was intentional. That the murder of that man on the streets of Minnesota was intentional. They knew they were being filmed. They knew they were being watched. They allowed that man to die because they want to inflame America. They want us to riot. They want us to go to the street. They want us to create mayhem. But in the name of Jesus right now, we bind that spirit. In the name of Jesus right now, we release the a power, the spirit of peace in Jesus' name. We come against it. We come against it. We come against it. I set myself in agreement with Fontaine. We agree. And in Jesus' name, we decree it was intentional. We know it was intentional. We know it's designed. And we know they're doing it repeatedly because they want to use African Americans across this nation as tools to create mayhem, to give them a purpose and a reason for a police state. But in the name of Jesus, we come against it. We bind the spirit. We know. So what we're going to do is we're going to acknowledge what we know. We act on the knowledge of the truth. So we act on the knowledge. We realize he was killed on purpose. We realize they did it strategically. We know he was murdered. And we know that they realized they were being filmed. And then they made sure that people got it posted and listed. And they did it in a way to make people watch. They did it long. It stretched it out long. Because they're trying to make us angry. But in the name of Jesus, we may experience anger. But we will not sin. We will not. We will come before the throne of grace boldly where we will find help in our time of need. And Father God, we ask you to intervene across our cities. We ask you to release angelic forces across our cities. We ask you to release the spirit of peace across our cities. We ask you to, uh, to release angels by the millions, by the millions, by the millions. We invoke your presence, oh God. To bring forth the spirit of peace in Jesus' name. Because we decree that the words of Matthew 24, 14 must occur. And we say in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, that the gospel must be preached as a witness. And then the end will come. But until that day, we come against the spirit of rioting. We come against the spirit of root looting. We come against the spirit of violence in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray over every person in every city, in every street. We assign angels to attach to those individuals and go home with them and to release into their sleep dreams in the night season that you reveal to them their purpose hallelujah their assignment their calling and in Jesus name hallelujah father God we thank you right now hallelujah that what the enemy intended for evil God you are going to turn it around and you're going to bring it out bring forth the good out of it for the blessing and the advancement of the kingdom in Jesus name we praise you, God, that you have already poured out your spirit upon every one of those young people, every one of those people in the cities, on the streets. And we decree right now that as you have poured out your spirit, the same fruit of that spirit they have access to. In Jesus' name, we decree right now, Father, that you engineer situations and you Create circumstances that cause them to hear the voice of God speaking into their ear. Saying, this is the path. This is the way. Walk in it. And they will hear the voice of the good shepherd. They will hear the voice of the most high God. They will hear you. They will hear. Release angelic support into our cities. Release protection in Jesus name. 
And Father, we thank you. We come against the spirit of fear. We come against the spirit of violence. We come against the spirit of murder. We come against the spirit of assault. We come against the spirit of attack. And we release in Jesus' name the spirit of peace. We release the spirit of love. We release the fruit of the spirit. In Jesus' name, we release the spirit of mercy. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, we decree that the fruit of your Holy Ghost, the fruit of your Holy Spirit is being released in the lives of every person in the street. In Jesus' name, we call forth the fruit of the Spirit. You said, Joel chapter 2, in the last days you will pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and we decree that the fruit, that the Spirit has fruit, and we command that fruit to manifest. We speak to the Spirit of the living God, and we say manifest the fruit. We decree in Jesus' name name that you give them a mind you give them thoughts you feed into their lives wisdom and insight and we release the fruit of the spirit we release the fruit of the spirit we release the fruit of the spirit we release the fruit of peace we release the fruit of peace we release the fruit of peace we release the fruit of love 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 we release the fruit of mercy we release the fruit of mercy we release the fruit of mercy. We release the fruit of mercy. We release the fruit of goodness. 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 For it is the goodness of God that leads men to repentance and to change the way they think. And so we decree right now that those in the streets all of a sudden across the cities, across the nations, that all of a sudden they just decide to drop their stones, drop their violence, and quietly and silently they just go home. And when they get home, we decree in Jesus' name that they will dream, Father God. When they close their eyes and go to sleep, they will dream dreams. They will see visions. They will hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling them in the night season saying, I am your Father. I am your beloved Father. I am the one and I will reveal to you myself. I am revealing to you myself. I am showing you myself. I am ex Exposing my love to you by the Spirit of God that I've already poured out upon you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray for those businesses that have been destroyed and burned. Father God, we pray restoration. And we decree in Jesus' name it'll be better than it was before. We decree in Jesus' name it'll be better than it was before. We come against the spirit of loss. In Jesus' name, oh, glory, hallelujah, we thank you, Father. We thank you that one can put a thousand to flight and two can put 10,000 to flight. So we decree that even on this call, I see eight, 10, 12 people. So we decree in Jesus' name, we set ourselves in agreement for the exponential release of the power of God and the fruit of the Spirit in this circumstance. And in Jesus' name, we I, we acknowledge that it was no accident that they killed him intentionally and they allowed themselves to be filmed so that they could release the inflammation of this injustice and this horrible horrible wrong so that people could become inflamed and angry but in Jesus name we decree that we may be angry but we will not sin in Jesus name we will pull back the spirit of violence we pull back the spirit of assault we pull back in Jesus name we decree in Jesus name we decree in Jesus name we decree we decree it so we speak peace in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. Oh, we praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you that what the enemy intended for evil, God, you are working. 
for good, for good, for good. You are working it together for good. And so we set ourselves in agreement. We recognize that the enemy intended it for evil, but in Jesus' name, he set up a public, he set up a public execution. He set up a public execution to inflame African America. He set up a public execution to get us angry and to get us mad and to get us rioting in the streets so that we could give the enemy an opportunity and a window to create a police state. But in Jesus' name, we decree, no, it's not coming to pass. It's not going to happen. We cut you off in the spirit. In Jesus' name, we cut you off in the spirit. In Jesus' name, we cut you off in the spirit. In Jesus' name, and we decree that the spirit of God, according to Joel chapter 2, that has already been poured out upon all flesh, that that fruit, that that spirit has fruit, and we decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. We decree manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. And we praise you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, that that fruit is going to bear. It's going to bear quick fruit. We're going to decree, hallelujah, the words of Amos chapter 2, of Amos chapter 9. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that as quickly as the seed is sown into the atmosphere, the harvest comes on the hills of the seed. And we decree a harvest of this word, a harvest of this prayer on the hills of the seed. Hallelujah. A harvest of peace. A harvest of the goodness of God. A harvest of the love of God. A harvest of the mercy of God. A harvest, O oh Lord, of the long suffering of God. We decree harvest, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we will reap the fruit of your spirit and we will see it in manifestation and we will be long suffering until you, O oh God, manifest Ezekiel 45 9. You will execute justice and judgment. You remove violence and spoil. You execute just, judgment and justice in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, we praise you for it, and we bless you, God, that in Jesus' name, you will engineer circumstances to bring about your perfect will, your perfect plan for this nation, your assignment. We continue to decree that America will finish strong. We will finish strong. We will finish our assignment in this earth. We will finish strong. We will see revival across this nation. We will see reformation across this nation. We will see the Holy Ghost flowing from city to city. In the name of Jesus, we will see it across this nation. We will see millions upon millions of salvations. We will see people from coast to coast shore to shore, border to border, calling upon the name of the Lord. And they are saved in Jesus' name. We will see it. We decree it so. We say it manifest. And no weapon formed against this nation, against our destiny, against our closing years, against the end time harvest in America. We call for 300 million salvations in this nation. We decree with God all things are possible. And we use this opportunity to call forth the salvations by the hundreds of millions in this land. In Jesus' name. Not by our might, not by our power, but by the might and the power of the Holy Ghost. God, you can do it. You have a strategy. You said, if we can just believe it, what? Whatsoever we believe, that if we can believe it, you can manifest. So, Lord, I can see over 300 million salvations in this nation. I can see that at the day Jesus comes and splits the air and calls us up to be with him, when we go, hallelujah, at the rapture, I can see over 300 million Americans being caught up to be with you in the air. I can see it, God. I can see this nation left empty. And there's no one here for the Antichrist to rule. I say it, I see it, I decree it, and I release it into the spirit. If you can save with one preacher, one, one man, one, one little prophet going to 
to Nineveh and an entire city was saved, you can do it again. You can do it in our country. You can do it in our nation. And we decree hallelujah for every person on the streets in every city across this land. I decree an angel is a sign and attached to them. An angel that leads them into the truth of the gospel. That leads them into the truth of salvation. That leads them into the truth and the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. I call it into existence. I call it into manifestation. I say that every single one, this moment, this instant, an angel from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is attached to their life right now in Jesus' name. And that angel does battle with every opposing force of their soul, with the enemy of their soul, that that angel steps into their life in this instant, in this moment, in every human being, in every city, that's rioting right now in Jesus' name, I assign an angel to you right now to bring you into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. I decree that God is engineering situations and circumstances. You will flip through a video. You'll be scrolling through your Facebook feed and your Facebook feed will get stuck on a channel where someone is preaching the gospel. You'll be walking down the street and a track will blow across your path. You'll be standing, listening to two people have a conversation about God and you'll accept the Lord based on the conversation. Oh, in the name of Jesus, you'll be standing over a loved one who is about to die. And that loved one will say to you, baby, give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to the Lord and you'll accept them. In Jesus' name, I decree that of tens upon thousands upon millions of different ways that you will come into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, but come into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you will in Jesus name. I decree it so, I command it so, and I say that not a single person rioting in the street and everyone thinking about going in the street, as soon as they get close to an angel is attached to their life, that person is brought into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. They are exposed to the gospel by any number of millions of ways, whatever means the Lord has already predestined for them to encounter the gospel. Oh, in Jesus' name, they encounter the gospel. And we say they will not be able to resist the wooing of God. They will not be able to resist salvation. They will not be able to say, no, um, no, 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 no. I pray in Jesus' name that according to the scriptures, the heart of the king, the heart of every human being is in the hand of the Lord, and the Lord will turn their heart to him. Because according to the scriptures, the Lord is turning the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their father. So Lord, even now, for those that are in the streets rioting, they belong to you. You said in your words that all things were created by him and without him was not anything made. That all mankind, we are all your children. So God, turn those in the streets right now. We decree right now, you're turning their hearts to you. You're turning their hearts to you, Father God. And every single one of them will have an encounter with God within the next 10 days. Every single one of them will have an encounter with God starting in this moment. Everyone riding in the streets will have an encounter with God. Everyone riding in the streets in Los Angeles. Everyone protesting in Minnesota. Everyone protesting in Jesus in every city across the land. We pray right now for those people in, in, in Black Lives Matter. Yes, we realize that there is a just cause. But oh, there is a just God. And so we decree right now for everyone marching with Black Lives Matter, we assign angelic protection to you. We assign angels to you. We bind every evil work in Jesus' name. We bind every evil intention in Jesus' name. We come against the spirit of vengeance in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of vengeance in Jesus' name. And we decree right now the peace of God. Hallelujah. We say hallelujah that every march that they're trying to get together, Father God, we just decree that it won't form. We pray, hallelujah, that anybody that's been, that's, that they've tried to pay to go riot, we pray that their pay transactions don't go through, and we pray that the money get cut off, that any ill, any ill efforts by the enemy to pay people to riot, we pray that their pay transactions don't happen, that the people don't get their money, and as a result, they shut up, they quiet down, and they go home in the name of Jesus. Father God, we contend. You said, hallelujah, 
that you that, that this is our land, that every place on which our feet shall tread, you've given us. I praise you, Lord, for the day I walked the streets of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I pray in Jesus' name, I walk that street, I walk those sidewalks, and I claim that city. That's your territory. In Jesus' name, Satan, you will not possess and occupy that land. No, no, no. There are believers there. You will not possess and occupy that land. In Jesus' name, we call it so. So, Father, I thank you for this prayer. I thank you for these decrees. I praise you, Father, for every person watching. If you are, if you're watching still, if you're still on here, just say, I agree. Go ahead and put in there, say, I agree. Whatever parts of this prayer you agree with, just agree and say it out loud. Say, if you know someone in Minnesota, if you know someone in, in Minneapolis, just begin to decree the safety protection of God over them. And we praise you, Father, hallelujah, that you will bring peace to those streets in Jesus' name. And we pray right now that the police, that the, whoever is responsible for arresting those murderers, we pray that they make that arrest quickly and swiftly. Lord, let them make it quickly and swiftly. And we decree in Jesus' name that in this case, in this instance, justice will be served in the name of Jesus. We command that justice be served. For Father, you will execute judgment and justice in Jesus' name. And you will remove violence and spoil in Jesus' name. We praise you, Father. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So what, what we just did was a combination of prayer with decree, prayer with declaration. So you take authority over what you do not want to happen, but then you turn around and release what you do want to happen. What we realize is that those people in the streets are angry. They are frustrated. They don't know. And so what happens is the enemy will come and speak into their ear. Just go march in the street and burn it down. He'll say stuff. And when people don't have an inner locus of control working in opposition to what the enemy is saying, they'll just do it because they feel like that's their own mind talking. And a lot of people cannot distinguish between the voice of a spirit speaking into their ear and their own human human conscious speaking into their ear. That's why you have to bind the spirit speaking into their ear and you decree, you, you decree the word of God. The word of God says that that he will speak. He said, we can decree. He speaks into our ear saying, this is the path. In other words, this is what you're supposed to do. So you take authority over the things that you don't want to happen, but you don't just leave it there. You have to then decree what you do want to happen. And so when they come into the set, when they encounter the word of God in Joel chapter two says the Lord has, and he is in the last days, he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Well, we know that's now. We know that that, that, that scripture, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pour out in, in Joel chapter two. I'm pulling up that scripture, you guys. Hallelujah. But we know that when he when he when the Lord says something, he gives us the he gives us the, he give, he's giving it to us. So we don't just have to sit by and watch stuff that's happening on TV. We don't just have to watch this stuff. We get to decree what it is supposed to be. We get to call it into existence saying what it's supposed to be. We get to decree and say it out loud. And if you don't speak it, while those people are running around, they don't know who they're listening to. They don't realize that they're listening to a demon, a demon who has an who has a assignment, the demonic realm assignment right now is to get this country to destroy this nation by any means necessary and he wants to do it because he knows that Matthew 24 14 is about to manifest he knows that this is Pentecost do you think it was an accident that this happened the week of Pentecost what happened in chapter 2 Pentecost is Sunday it's Pentecost Sunday he's trying you see how he's trying to do this before Pen what did God say what did he say he said it, 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 in Acts chapter 2, in Pentecost was the day that the Holy Ghost was poured out. Well, God is already saying that he's poured out his spirit upon all flesh. Do you realize that when the spirit of God hits you, that is an activation that He hit, the spirit is sent to activate the movement of God in a person's life? He's sent to activate. So what if God is planning and there was a strategic move on God just this Sunday in Pentecost, hallelujah, that we recognize Pentecost Sunday, that he sent the, that he's here to activate movement on people. Folks, this is not an accident. 
This is a distraction. That on air murder was a distraction to get you excited. So if we will just back down and release the love of God, release the love, move in the opposite spirit, move in the opposite spirit. So Father, we decree justice to those officers, but we pray right now, Lord, that you save them too. Save the, to save the police officers who did that, the ones who stood by watching and the one who did it. God, we pray for the fire of your presence to hit him wherever he is and let your mercy, your grace fall on him too. Because it was a demonic spirit that gave him the will and the permission and activated that behavior to murder that man on camera, knowing he was dying. He knew he was dying. He knew it. He knew that man was dying. He knew he couldn't breathe. He knew it. And he killed him anyway. That's evil. But in the name of Jesus, we are not going to render evil for evil. No, not going to happen. We're going to turn around and decree the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the goodness of God, because people need to repent. People need to change the way they think. People need to change. And that scripture is Joel chapter two, verse 28. And it shall come to pass that afterwards I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, upon all flesh, upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. So we decree that those people riding in the streets, the spirit of God has been poured out on them. It's been poured out on them. They may not know it yet. They may not feel it yet, but it's been poured out. He said, in, it, in, it, it, it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon your servants and upon the handmaidens in those days will I pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillar of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood before the great and terrible, before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And see, that's what we are right now. The spirit of God has been poured out upon people. And what God is about to do is activate a, a, a I believe it is the goodness of God that will activate people to be true. He said it's the goodness of God that leads people into repentance. Well, goodness is one of the fruit of the spirit. It's one of the things that is a byproduct of encountering the spirit of God. So I believe that when the Lord pours out his spirit, that he is going to release his goodness. It is the goodness of God that will lead people to repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is to change the way they think, to change change the thought system so that they will then call upon the name of the Lord. What happens when they call upon the name of the Lord? And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, shall be saved. And so, Lord, we thank you that, yes, this is Pentecost week. And in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, you are poured out your spirit. You're going to release your goodness, which is one of the fruit of the spirit. And in Jesus' name, the love of God is the fruit of the spirit. The joy of the Lord is the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. Your mercy is the fruit of the spirit. Long suffering is the fruit of the spirit. The peace is the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. And we decree hallelujah, 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 that the fruit of the spirit is about to be manifested in this nation. We thank you, Lord, that the fruit of the spirit is being manifested. Hallelujah. Because Joel chapter two says the spirit has been poured out. So we decree the love is poured out. The joy of the the Lord is poured out. The peace is poured out. The patience and long suffering is poured out. The kindness. Oh God, we need kindness, kindness, kindness. God, we decree kindness is poured out that all of a sudden there are waves and waves and waves and waves and waves of people just wanting to do what's right. We see people, we see people of different races all of a sudden being drawn to other races to release the fruit of the spirit, to release the kindness 
goodness of God, to release the goodness of God, to release the faithfulness of God, to release the gentleness. Oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we decree the opposite of what that man did. Hallelujah, the opposite of the murder that he did on TV. We call forth the fruit of the spirit to manifest in that city. Hallelujah, in opposition to what he did. So we thank you that according to Joel chapter 2, you said, hallelujah, you have poured out your spirit. And we thank you, Lord, that your spirit, that as those people in the streets, hallelujah, in every major city, people in the streets in every major city, we decree that you said in your word, hallelujah, you have given your angels charge over us. So right now, we thank you. We assign those angels charge over those people in the street. We say, angel, we activate you and we give you an assignment in Jesus' name. You will manifest Joel chapter two over every person in the street, over every rioter, over every looter, over every thief, over every murderer, over every person, every single one in Jesus' name. We decree the words of Joel chapter 2. Hallelujah. Father, you have poured out your spirit upon them. And so, Father, we decree right now that you said you've given your angels charge over them. So the angels, angels, we give you an assignment because the word says you are sent to minister to the heirs of righteousness. We decree that they will come into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and you will minister to them and you will bring them into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, that as they come into the king of kings and the, the kingdom of God and they encounter the king of kings and the Lord of lords, hallelujah, they are saved and born again. And then we decree, hallelujah, Father, that you fill them with the Holy Ghost. You fill them with the fire of your Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you that they're changed from the inside out, hallelujah. Oh, they cannot resist the wooing and the drawing of the Lord. And so we decree that as the angels bring them into repentance and the angels who are sent to minister to the heirs of righteousness, angels, you manifest, you bring them into an encounter and you cause this word of God to be manifested. I decree over them, Joel 2, 28, you angels will cause them, you bring them into an encounter with God where they shall begin to prophesy their own destiny. They will begin to prophesy. We decree that the older men shall dream dreams. Lord, tonight we decree when they laid their heads upon their pillows, you will seal up instructions. Hallelujah. You will seal up instructions, God. You will give them instructions over what they're supposed to do in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 So again, we don't just take authority and bind the enemy, but then you decree what is supposed to happen. We bind the spirit of violence. We bind the spirit of rioting. We bind the spirit of assault. We bind that. But then you go and you release the word of God and tell you replace what you just bound with the word of God. Hallelujah. You replace it. So here's another passage that when, it, when we start talking about people going to sleep, this see this stuff is, I'm not just making up stuff. In Job chapter 33, verse 14, hallelujah. Verse 14, it says, for God, oh, let's see. For God speaks once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. So God is already speaking to them. He's already told them once. He's already told them twice. But you know what? We decree in Jesus' name that they're going to hear his voice. Hallelujah. Yet man perceiveth it not. And so then after they don't perceive it, verse Job 33, 15, it says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, in slumber upon the bed. So we're going to say when they go to bed at night and they dream in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon them, then God, verse Job 33, 16, he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. So when they go to bed at night, we're decreeing that rioters in the street from coast to coast, every major city, every march, every planned march for every marcher, every planned march for every person that's that's even contemplating doing stupid stuff, that's even contemplating violence. We decree these words over you tonight. 
We decree that when you lay your heads on the pillow, when you take a nap in the middle of the day, when you lay your head on your pillow, we decree Job 33, 13 through 16, 13 through 17. We decree, hallelujah, for God's going to speak to you, that God is going to seal up instructions in your dreams, in a vision of the night, when you fall asleep and you slumber on your bed. God is going to open your ears, hallelujah, and seal up your instructions. He's going to tell you what you're supposed to do. He's going to call them into their destiny. He's going to call them into salvation, hallelujah, that he may withdraw from man, from his purpose. And those who are out there doing, who are purposing to do wrong, who are purposing to do evil, that God may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. And so he keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. So when the enemy is setting up in, in, in circumstances where they can be exposed to danger and be shot by the police and be killed and hurt by tear gas and all that foolishness, the devil is a lie. This not going to happen. We command it to be peaceful. We decree in Jesus' name that the angel speaks into their ear and say, go home now. Go, go home, go home, go home right now and stay there. Don't leave anymore. When they get home, they turn on the TV and they see a message speaking into the, they pick up their cell phone and they flip through and they find this video. They find any video that speaks to them peace and calm. That is what we decree in Jesus name. That is a Caillou prayer. That's a prayer that changes the natural environment with the word of God and calls a circumstance into what it is supposed to be. This nation is supposed to finish strong. We will see the fulfillment of Matthew chapter 24, 14. Hallelujah. We will see this word manifested in this nation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, 14 is what's on the horizon. This is Pentecost week. We decree in Jesus' name that this, as Pentecost week, the Holy Spirit is poured out, 24, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. So we decree this gospel is being preached in all over Minnesota, all over the state, all over Minneapolis. We call forth the gospel to be preached as a witness to all the world, hallelujah, unto all nations, and then the end shall come. So until then, we're going to reap the three harvests. Until then, we will reap the three harvests. We're going to reap the harvest of souls. We're going to reap the harvest of wealth. And we're going to reap the harvest of territory in Jesus' name. Because the souls that we are bringing into the kingdom after that order that I just walked you guys through, the souls that are coming into the kingdom, those souls are on the territory that we have not occupied yet. But the devil is a lie. We coming for that ground and we taking it too. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, we praise you, God. We praise you, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We just bless you, we praise you, we give you honor. And Father, we thank you for this prayer. If you guys want to know, that's right, Dawn, uh, Dawn you, you replace anger, wrath, fear. We bind that and we replace it with the fruit of the spirit, the love, the joy, peace, goodness, mercy, faith, uh, faith temperance, long suffering, uh, let's see, that's, that's seven, self-control, gentleness. Against such, there is no law. Galatians 5, verse 22. That's the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We release the fruit of the Spirit over Minnesota, over Minneapolis in Jesus' name. So let me recap what we prayed about for those people who haven't been on the whole time. We realized that that police officer knew what he was, he knew that man was dying and he knew he was murdering him. He knew he was killing him. He, it wasn't an accident. He knew he was being videotaped and filmed and yet he persisted in doing it because I believe that that was an effort by the enemy to strategically do a public execution in an effort to get African Americans and to get people across this nation angry and to get us to take to the streets and riot to give the enemy an any opportunity to activate martial law 
We are not falling for it. We're not taking the bait. We're not going to bite in Jesus' name. We decree right now that people are going to just drop their rocks. They're going to drop their sticks, and they're just going to go home. We assigned angels to every person because according to Joel chapter 2, we decree that the Lord said, he said in his word, he has poured out his spirit upon all flesh. The spirit has already been poured out. We are in. So the next point is we are in Pentecost week. This is Pentecost. This is the week that marks when the Holy Ghost fell, hallelujah, in the upper room. And so we decree, hallelujah, that hallelujah, the Holy Spirit fell and hallelujah, fell on them like tongues of fire. Well, could it be that what the enemy is trying to do is prevent them from, from encountering this, from, from act, being activated? But no, we're going to turn what the enemy intended for evil we're turning it around for good and we're saying then okay devil since you did that we release angelic presence into the earth we call angels to step in and be assigned to every single person in every street so in the streets of Minnesota, we assign angels to everyone in the street, every man, woman, and child in the streets of Minnesota out there trying to write. We do the same for the city of Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Chicago, New York, everywhere the enemy is releasing people to get them to riot. We assign angels to every soul and every angel will have the responsibility to minister to the heirs of righteousness and to bring them into an encounter with this word, Joel chapter 2. 28 says the last days the Lord has poured out his spirit so those angels will cause those people to dream dreams to see visions to prophesy and in Jesus name we decree since this is Pentecost week we decree that the Holy Ghost and fire with the evidence of speaking in other tongues is going to fall upon them and they're going to call upon the name of the Lord and they shall be saved we decree over 300 million people in the nation across America will call on the name of the Lord and be saved. We call it into existence. We decree it so. We call it into existence and we decree it so. We decree, we call it into existence, we decree it so. And we praise you, Father, that entire cities are going to come into the save, not saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And just like when Charles Finney preached, we call and we pray for the law enforcement officers. Oh, we decree hallelujah. Oh, we decree hallelujah, the fire of your spirit. And that goes for the police officers too. We're not just talking about the rioters. That's right, Wanda, thank you. We call it for the police officers too. Those police officers that are in the streets, especially the ones that are just there because it's their job and they're just afraid. God, we pray for accidental firings of guns. We bind that in Jesus' name. We decree that not any, not a single one will fire a shot by accident because they're scared. We cut that off. Thank you, Lord, for bringing that to my mind. And so we thank you. If we praise for our law enforcement officers across this nation, we pray for the good officers, the righteous ones. Lord, we pray for unity for the families on both sides, Lord. We pray, hallelujah, for unity. We pray for healing. You said that this, men will know that we belong to you. Hallelujah, because of the unity in the kingdom of God. And so, Lord, we praise you and thank you. And so that's the progression. Number one, we realized that it was intentional. It was a, it was, it was a intentional murder on camera. It was designed. Why did he do it? He did it because I believe by the whether he did it because of the dump demon that was operating through him, or whether he did it because somebody paid him to do it, talked him into doing it, got him to do it. He did it intentionally. That man was killed intentionally. It was not an accident. He knew what he was doing, and he stayed on his neck so long because he knew he was he knew he was dying. He knew he was doing it. He knew it was being filmed. Now, he either did it because of the demonic spirit that was operating through him and he, had, he, he, he lost control of himself, or he did it because somebody put him up to it. Whatever reason, Satan had his mind. That's right, Sharon. Satan had his mindset. And so that, and they filmed it knowing that so many cameras were on him and knowing that it was going to go viral, knowing that it was going to inflame people and get people angry and mad and create rioting in the streets. But in Jesus' name, we cut that off. We bind it. And so what do we do as a result? We release angels and assign angels to every person in the street. And we decree that that angel will walk with them until the day that they accept Jesus Christ and lead them into an encounter with God and come into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We call it so. 
And now that they've got angels assigned to them, what are the angels assigned to do? The angels hearken unto the voice of the Lord's command. Well, what voice, the, the voice of the Lord's, what words is the angels have to respond to? The angels respond to the word that we decree. We decree Job 33 verses 13 through 16 where they're, they're going to encounter God in their dreams. God is going to seal up instructions and reveal to them their instructions in their dreams. So when they go to sleep at night, there are going to be dreams all over. Millions and millions of people are going to dream tonight. We decree that the word of Job chapter 2, the last days the Lord has poured out his spirit, that they're going to be activated by the fruit. The spirit of God has fruit. The fruit of the spirit that was activated when God poured it out, we activate that fruit. The fruit of love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We decree that that fruit is being released in cities, that all of a sudden, because the Spirit's been poured out on them, they're going to begin to walk and manifest that fruit. We decree that it is the goodness of God. All of a sudden, people all over the country, all over the nation, just going to start doing good things. They're just going to do good deeds. They're going to do good. Why? Because it is the goodness of God that brings people to repentance. And as they come into repentance, we call forth that this is the week of Pentecost. And we thank you, Father, that by your spirit, you are leading them to repentance, to change the way they think so that they will come into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And in the last days, according to Joel chapter two, they will call upon the name of the Lord and they shall be saved. And we decree that every fruit, all fruits, the fruit of souls and salvation will remain, that they will encounter God, that they will be a part of the reformation that happens across this globe before Jesus comes to take his church away. And after then, after over 300 million people call upon the name of the Lord in this nation, that's my decree, over 300 million Americans will call upon the name of the Lord. And over 300 million Americans will have a change in their heart. Oh, yes, it's this that God can do. This is not too hard for God to save a nation. He already said, can a nation be saved in a day? He said it. Yes, it can happen. It can happen. He can do this. This is not too hard for him. Just agree with it. And so, Lord, so that's the progression. And so we took authority, we released the angels, and then we say, we close it out by saying, so angels, bring them into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. As they come into the saving knowledge, we ask you to open the eyes of their understanding that they may be enlightened and know the hope of their calling in Christ Jesus so that they can then step into their destiny, step into their assignment, step into their purpose. And there will, we decree that there will be believers already prepared to help them walk this walk of faith in the name of Jesus. That is what's going to happen. Why? Because we know Matthew 24, 14 is on the horizon and we will not, we will not be distracted by an on-air murder intended to get us all excited, angry, mad, and in the streets doing wreaking havoc. The devil is a lie. We bind it in Jesus' name and we release the fruit of the spirit, which has already been poured out on people according to Job chapter two. We got the neck popping. So that's what's going to happen. That's what we will do. We take authority over this stuff. We stand. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, hello, hello. We take authority over this stuff and we call it to nothing in Jesus' name. We call it to nothing. So yeah, he did it on purpose. He killed that man on purpose. Tony, we know he did that. We know. But now you have to stop and ask yourself, why did he do it? And why did it happen today? One, he did it because the enemy wants to destroy this nation from the inside and from the outside. He sent the coronavirus from China to try to take out, take us out that way. Tried, then he tried to try to destroy the economy. The economy is coming back and it's going to be stronger than it was before. And if it only took us two months to lose it, it will only take us two months to get it back in Jesus' name. That our economy, I say in Jesus' name, our economy is like fat. If it takes you two months to gain it, you can you you can lose it in two months. If it took us two months to lose ground, we decree in Jesus' name, in two months we can gain it back. We will gain it back in the same amount of time or less that it took for us to lose it in Jesus' name. So we stand, having done all to stand. We stand, therefore. We stand, believers. Take your authority. Don't just watch stuff. Use your authority. Use the progression. I just walked you through. I just coached you through. This video will be on YouTube. You can go back. I coached you through a process. You walk. You don't just look at stuff and go, mm -mm -mm, I can't believe. No, you bind that stuff. You take authority over it. 
and then you tell it what it's supposed to be. You call it into its destiny. You call it into its assignment. You call it to what it's supposed to be. Psalms 103. Psalms 103 tells us what we get to do. We have that authority. It says the angels hearken unto the voice of the Lord's command. How does the Lord's word get command in the earth? It's, his word gets a voice when you speak it. When I speak it, that's how the Lord's voice, hallelujah, that's how the, the word of God gets a voice in the earth. Hallelujah. Let me just pull it up so you won't be, I won't be going off memory. Psalms 103. Hallelujah. Psalms 103, and it's towards the end of that, ver that chapter, Psalms 103, and around verses, I believe, verse uh, 17. No, here we go. Psalms 103, verse 20. Bless the Lord, you his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. So what I just did was take the word of God. I released the angels. Angels are already here. Many of them are unemployed because no one is giving them an assignment to do. So I call forth angels to accompany and be attached to every person in the street, every rioter and every police officer. I release angels to be attached to every law enforcement officer. And those angels hearkening unto the voice of his word. What word did I release over them for the angels to assist in manifesting? We release the words of Joel chapter 2. What does it say in Joel chapter 2, verse 28? In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So we know the spirit has been poured out, but the spirit of God has fruit. So we call forth the manifestation of that fruit in every in the life of every believer. We call forth the manifestation of the fruit. Well, what is that fruit? The fruit of the spirit, according to Galatians 5, 22. The fruit of the spirit is love. So we decree instead of murder, anger, violence, and hatred, we release the spirit of love. We release the spirit of joy. We release the spirit of peace. We release long suffering. We release kindness. We release goodness. We release faithfulness. We release gentleness and we release a spirit of self-control. So in Jesus name, the spirit's been poured out. The fruit is in the spirit. The fruit manifests in the lives of the person that the Holy Spirit has poured out on. And then we say that those angels will cause those individuals to encounter God according to Joel chapter two. And at the end of both Joel chapter two, 28, it says verse 22 to 38, it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so we say and command them by the spirit that they start to call on the name of the Lord. They call on his name and they are saved. And we praise you, Father, that this is Pentecost week. So we pray that they have an encounter with the fire of the Holy Ghost by the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you for this time of prayer. I thank you for your word that is alive, that is powerful, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. If you guys want more information about our group, don't forget, send a request to join our group, the Kyle Circle. If you're in the circle, would you please get the link for the Kyle Circle and drop it in this post for me so that people can find us, so that they can go to the circle. And this is what, this is one of the things that we're going to be teaching in this, that we teach in the circle is how to pray so that you create what you want to exist and not just just bind the enemy. And then once you bind them, you don't give the angels anything to do to counter what the enemy is preparing for the next time. We can, we, we don't have to do it that way. We bind, we loose, we take authority, we occupy territory, and we build on the land so that the enemy won't have the opportunity to return. Love you guys. Till next time, you make it a terrific day.